signed autographs. He ate pizza. This is so exciting! <laughs> Call it the return of Johnny from the block. Hey! <laughs> Thank you. Before an enormous throng of adoring fans, John Travolta was back on the streets of Bensonhurst, Brooklyn this afternoon, where he made history more than 40 years ago in the movie Saturday Night Fever. Well, you can't tell by the way I use my walk. I'm a woman's man. In the movie, the strutting, swaggering Travolta character not only helped put disco on the map, but also Lenny's Pizza, where he famously got takeout. Two, two, give me two. Let's go. Today, Travolta was back outside Lenny's with wife Kelly Preston here on 86th Street, where it all happened. Once again, grabbing a few slices from takeout. It's like the Pope coming back to coming back to Rome, and it's John Travolta coming back to Benson. And receiving a New York State proclamation for helping change the culture of Brooklyn through his work. I feel like uh, Brooklyn. Uh, has been in my DNA since uh, since Welcome Back, Cotter. Vinny, you're going to give yourself a third-degree corduroy burn. For the hundreds of Brooklynites here, seeing Travolta back on the same street where he sensationally sauntered and strutted his stuff, it was special. If you're from Brooklyn and you watched that movie, you had a feeling like no other. Everybody wanted to be John Travolta, talk like John Travolta, and walk like John Travolta. Just ask professional Travolta impersonator Phil Francavilla. You know, we keep the 70s stain alive like this. Travolta was in New York this week to promote his new movie, Gotti. But his work from that quintessentially Brooklyn movie from 1977 is what brought everybody here. We love you. We love Brooklyn. Thank you very, very much. The return of Johnny from the block. In Benson, Scott Rappaport, CBS New News. So despite all the interaction today with fans, Travolta did not do any interviews or take any questions from reporters. Bringing back memories, right? Yes. It was like just the other day.